Hello my angry nerds, this is Fanboy back with some more Legacy of the Void Archon mode that I played with a good friend of mine, Falcon Paladin. He is a YouTuber, he does the exact same thing I do. I will link his uh, channel down in the description. Um, we were Protoss back there and our opponents are Zerg. Uh, our opponents names are Sheep and Brato. So we're kind of like Pronto, but with a B. It was a really odd name. But, you know, you can't pick your opponents. Uh, they are Zerg. We are Protoss. And let's get this game underway. Let's speed it up just a tad, just to get to where it's semi-exciting. We are dropping down a Forge. Uh... And most likely a very early expansion. There we go. There's the early expansion. Uh, Bronto and Sheep have a swan spawning pool, not a swanning pool, spawning pool uh, going down, and they also have gas uh, on its way. Uh, what do we got going on right now? We have a cannon and a gateway and a, another forge and a gas of course um, this map I don't like because you have the destructible rocks in your main um, they are doing about the same thing but they are taking their uh, normal or ordinary expo we did not we took this one instead so we have, uh, they have an Overlord that is coming out and scouting, and two times speed, their Overlords are freaking fast. I'm sorry, but they just are. Uh, what else do we have going on? We have a Zealot being produced, we have a Cyberdex core going down, and another cannon. Uh, both gases at the expansion. One gas is going on in the main, that's because, well, you mine the gas that is most likely to get hit or is uh, out of the way. Let's slow this down back to normal. Um, sheep and Bronto, I want to say something else all the damn time is coming around here we did not know this was here and we're like oh there's a bunch of probes or not there's a bunch of zerglings in our main uh this cannon is nowhere to be found live and learn is falcon paladin um falcon paladin we're on skype and he's like live and learn really I mean, come on, where do these Zerglings come from? Uh, because we did not know this path existed up until about five minutes ago. Uh, we do have Mothership Core out, and it is slowly taking down winds. We do not have the ability to uh, Photon Overcharge, and these Zerglings kind of evacuate. Uh, they are on hold command, or they are on attack command, so they're gonna aggro directly two cannons. Thank goodness. Um, I have zealots coming out, uh, just to try to, uh, keep these zerglings away from our probes. They did kill quite a few probes. Um, we do have double cannon <laughs> in our main, so that's a thing. And I'm, I'm telling them... Uh, they came from up here, so basically what they did, instead of going to our front door, they just went up the ramp and into our base. Uh, Sheepy and Bronto have three bases at this point in time, um, and are producing roaches. Uh, where is that roach warrant? Where is that roach warrant? There it is. Um, it looks like they do have speed. So that's not a good thing at all. But uh, Zerg does like to have uh, three a base on top of any opponent. 
excuse me, wow. Uh, I did produce three uh, adepts because, well, adepts are just good, period. Um, they are good against bio. Uh, they're good against other adepts. If you're, if you have ever seen a pro play, play a, like a PvP and have like a handful of stalkers and everything else is adept, but maybe two centuries, uh, that's why, because they're just that good. Uh, we did park an observer over here, just to make sure nothing is taking down those rocks. Uh, what do we have going on? We have armor one uh, coming up. These roaches are just kind of sitting here, doing not much of anything. Uh, we do have cans going down because, well, we just do. Uh, Falcon, uh, if I remember correctly, um, is a diamond level player. I would want to say he's diamond level. And they're going to come back to this back door just like they did. Um, but it has been completely and utterly walled off for the most part. We learn wise. Uh, I'm going to take this mothership and uh, hopefully photon overcharge here in about five seconds. There we go. Uh, drives those roaches away. Um, and also drives an overlord away. Uh, meanwhile, uh, Sheepy, or Sheep, and his friend are expanding into one, two, three, four bases. Um, did unpower the gateway, did destroy the forge. I just don't have what it should take to, uh, get rid of these roaches. But, uh, I am, pro we are producing, uh, Immortals. Um, I do have a, an adept going all the way out here just to see what was going on. Um, he's going to die pretty much immediately. I must have grabbed him accidentally with along with the uh, uh, observer. So that's a thing. I'm down down to two, but you know they're not all that useful against uh, uh, roaches. Uh, Sheepy and Bronto have uh, level 1 armor and, uh, or no, level 2 armor and uh, carapace on the way. And what are they up to? They are still on four bases. They are morphing in Ravagers. I hate Ravagers. Uh, the first time I ever saw this game, uh, saw Legacy of the Void, it was with a game with a bunch of Ravagers, and they just seemed extremely overpowered at the time. Uh, so that's a thing. I do have an Observer moving out because... And I'm like, nope, 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 you're not going to hurt me. You're not going to hurt me. He is trying to take down this pylon and he most likely will succeed. Uh, do I have enough for Photon Overcharge? I do. I do have enough for Photon Overcharge. I do have two Immortals out. Um, I do uh, overcharge their shields and uh, hit, the, uh, hit the Nexus for a Photon Overcharge. Um, there are a couple of... Uh, Hydralisks that tried to burrow in, but they, well, didn't succeed very well. Uh, these Ravagers and Lurkers and a couple wings are burrowed just to try to uh, help with their HP. Um, this base has not been mining at all. This base barely has any workers. I mean... They are basically going to try to just kill us because they don't have many workers and they don't have a rally point set, it looks like. Um, that's Sheep and Bronto's army. 
Where's mine? Mine's back here, just chilling out. Um, what do we got going on? We have more immortals on the way. Uh, we do have uh, the Twilight Council. Um, we still have not taken our actual main yet. We could very easily. Uh, let's see what's going on. Uh, you got a couple roaches that just unburrowed for no apparent reason. Um, let's uh, let's speed this game up a little bit just to uh, get to where it gets good because what I've seen so far is oh those roaches were trying to take down that that uh, uh, back rocks and if they could have they would have uh, it would have been bad news for us let's just say that one uh, they do try to just march in the front uh, I photon overcharge and pretty much destroy uh, the Nexus and uh, the Mothership Core at the same time. Let's slow this thing down. Um, I'm determined to chase this army all the way home. These Hydras uh, do get separated and most likely will get killed. Uh, there goes a couple. I do have two observers. He. I don't think realizes that somehow. Um, I'm gonna chase him all the way home and take down mostly every single overlord here. Supply blocking. So that's the thing. He can't produce any more units. Uh, the only units he can produce are the units that he already has in production. Uh, so I'm gonna come down here and try to take down as many as I can. Uh, I do have two, four, five immortals, now four immortals, and two adepts, so, and I'm just coming in here and just hauling butt, because, well, and we're like, you know, this is, this is, we could keep going, but this expansion just got up, um, he just had an economic lead. If I I was saying to Falcon, if we can't kill this army with what we have, uh, we're pretty much screwed. Because he's just going to pump out a ton of roaches and a ton of wings and just come up and kill us. So, so yeah, that was uh, game two of, I think, four that we played. Um, so, yeah, that's, that's a thing. So, I will, uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video, and I will see you guys in the next. Bye!